they're quite good at keeping you in a state of terror over months and months and making you feel that these are your last hours. He speaks softly. He was held captive by Syrian militants for nearly two years. And now, seven months after his release, the man that we knew as Pierre Theo Curtis still isn't certain why he was spared when others died. On Friday, the writer and journalist is giving a talk at Boston University. But tonight, only on New Center 5, he sits down with our Rondella Richardson for his first on camera interview in the United States. The first six months, they, I had. The same underwear, the same clothing, no toothbrush. My body was covered in lice. Did they have a gun to your head, a knife to your throat? Yes. You think they're killing you? Theo Padnos traveled using a fake name, Peter Theo Curtis. He feared for his safety, writing a book on the religious radicalism of Islam using his real name, Theo Padnos. Once captured, he had plenty of time to think about the controversy to pay ransom to free hostages. He thinks the West has it wrong. I wish we had taken care of our own people. Which we did not do. 46 year old Pagnos was particularly hurt when 26 year old hostage Kayla Mueller never came home. We could have gotten her out with, you know, the price of a few condos. And instead, we just let her die. In Syria, while looking for a story, he became the story. Bad planning and just stupidity. No, but they put me underground at one point, they threw dirt on me. And it hit me with their colostomy. It goes like this. And. I thought it was the end. After two years, the beheading of New Hampshire hostage James Foley, a turning point. The Americans did not want to see another Foley. They had some leverage through Qatar. They used this leverage to get me out. But not immediately. For a month, I traveled through the desert with them, and we just, it was like jihad. It was, the airplanes were flying, killing. I'm like, hello, the airplanes. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Jihadi, let's go. He hid his novel in the works and his pants fleeing the country. Home, he's ready for the next chapter. In Cambridge, Rondella Richardson, WCBB, New Center 5.